Hi, my name is uh, Brendan Sullivan. I am uh, reviewing the SensiFast cDNA Synthesis Kit, and I wanted to go over the quality of the product with uh, all the reviewers right now. So what we've noticed was that the SensiFast cDNA Synthesis Kit, uh, Synthesis Kit is one of the best kits that we've ever used in our lab. We've been using it now for two years, and it's shown very high, uh, pr pr very precise data for uh, some of the genes that we've been using. And uh, one of the best things about it, it's a one-step, easy protocol to use. All you got to do is put it in the PCR machine and literally wait about 40 minutes and the thing is done. So uh, one of the, 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 the exceptions that I would like to put on to that is that it's, it is easy to use, but they have two, uh, two methods to do it online. You could do it with the, uh, the transcription phase. You could do that with 45 degrees Celsius, or you can add in a 48 degrees uh, uh, Celsius temperature to modulate the, uh, the high structured RNA that's inside the sample. What we've noticed is that when we haven't put in the 48 degrees uh, Celsius uh, temperature step in there, we've actually had problems with our reaction. So you definitely want to add that 48 degrees in there. Even though some genes may or may not do it, we've noticed that with our samples, that was a necessary step. Along with that, I would like to go over to the amount of re reagents that you put in the sample. They recommend that you put one microliter of uh, transcriptase into the, uh, the reaction. What we've done was we've actually put one in and it worked extremely well, but you can even get away with 0.7 microliters. So the, the 50 reactions that we bought in the kit, or the, no, not the 50, the 250 uh, reactions we put in the kit, you can actually get about uh, 300 reactions out of it, which is really, really nice. So that's, uh, that will make up for some of the expense that you're buying with the product. Along with that is the amount of RNA you're supposed to add. You're supposed to put one microgram worth of uh, DNA's treated RNA into the sample. And what we've, uh, what we've done is we've gone above and below through some of our experiments and checked the, uh, the, the conditions a little bit. What we've seen that is when you go below one microgram, obviously it worked really well because there's less RNA, there's more uh, primers, uh, reverse transcriptase enzymes, and essentially it worked really well. So above one microgram, We've actually seen the same thing too. We've seen around 1.5 uh, uh, micrograms. We've seen that it had really good results. But we haven't tried above those ranges because there was no need to essentially. But that is the range that I would recommend from our lab that we've seen. Now, some of the data has shown shoulders and where the CT values are. So we adjusted the baseline threshold. We believe that was machine induced, that wasn't the SensiFast. And it could be a, a variety of factors. It could actually be the uh, the cyber mix that we're, we're using to uh, to perform the uh, the uh, the real time uh, with our samples. But uh, we've we have seen shoulders. It only occurred in one of our genes. Hasn't occurred in any of the other ones. So we do not think that's the sensi fast. But long story short, I would highly recommend this product for anyone using it to do real time data with or any uh, other form of experiments.